Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my seven beauty airport hacks. This might be more relevant to some than others just because it's like, you know when you get off at the airport, I know for me when I used to go visit tour guide, you know, Mike, when he was in Tennessee, I would fly out and I would wanna look like bomb the second I got off that plane. I would wanna look dewy and glowy and like I wasn't on a red eye for six hours looking crazy. So I know this video is about to go up a little bit late, uh, probably a day or two later than usual. Um, but it's just because I just got back from New Orleans and so I thought that this would be kind of like a perfect video for those of you that are traveling. Number one, bring a face or sheet mask. So when I fly, my face gets super, super puffy. My skin gets really, really hot and irritable and I almost feel kind of uh, feverish. So I, I love bringing face masks with me, um, not like the clay mask or anything, but specifically sheet masks. So I literally keep a hefty stash on me all the time. That way when I travel, I could just like grab one or two of these and uh, take these on the plane with me. I just added these to my bunch. These are the Bio Republic ones, so I'm excited to try these. I haven't tried them before. I'll let you guys know. If you wanna see a review of those, uh, comment below, let me know. Um, I did one on another mask, uh, the BioBell one, so um, I'll link those above here. But I just love bringing these with me. Honestly, since they're nice and, you know, since they're very, very moist and soaked in, you know, product, a lot of them have aloe vera in it, um, it's just really good for soothing the skin. Especially because uh, another thing that I notice when I fly is depending on, you know, the temperature on the airplane or just me running throughout the airport, my skin either gets very, very oily or it gets very, very dry and dull. So this just kind of helps to balance your skin out a little bit, helps to give it that needed moisture that it can actually absorb, um, and it can help you with breakouts because I break out a lot when I get on the plane. And for those of you um, that are a little bit more discreet and don't want to have like a sheet mask on at the airport, um, sometimes you can just go into the bathroom, you know, 10 minutes or so, put the sheet mask on and take it off. But for those of you that are a little bit more discreet, there's things like this, which is um, firming eye gels, which I mean, if your face doesn't get super puffy and maybe just your eye area gets like very, very dark or puffy or whatever, these are great as well and a lot of them are clear. So you can actually just put those on on the plane and um, you know, go to sleep. And then for those of you that are a little bit more maybe self-conscious about you know having a sheet mask or eye gels or whatever um, for your flight, this is a great alternative as well. I think I've done a review on this or I think this was in my favorites maybe like two seasons ago, but the Vitamin Hydrating Mist. Um, I got this from Sephora. This is their uh, two ounces. So I think this might be the bigger container. I had one at, I had um, one at one point that was a little bit smaller. So perfect size to take on the plane with you. And all you gotta do is just like mist around your face and then, you know, call it a day. It'll kind of give your skin a boost, uh, you know, some vitamins that it might be missing and just kind of help cool your skin from just dealing with the temperature change of being in and out of the airport and possibly traveling from cold areas to more hot and humid areas. Two, wear cotton and linen always. Always. <laughs> now, this seems very, very weird, but honestly, again, when you're up in the air and you're flying, you're dealing with different altitudes and temperatures, your body kind of swells and puffs up. And the last thing you want to do is be suffocated by, you know, vinyl or faux leather or leather or suede or all of those. So cotton and linen, they breathe. You know, sometimes they're a little bit looser. Sometimes they have a little bit of give to it. So when you're on the plane and you're sitting for, you know, hours and hours and your body is starting to swell up, it'll actually give your skin... Uh, room to breathe a little bit and room to kind of expand and then contract. So I love wearing cotton. Um, if you guys want to see a, a style video, I was actually thinking, considering doing one. So if you would like to see one, um, comment below, let me know also. And along with this goes, you know, a loose pair of shoes. So shoes that are really, really tight and constricting, no. Number three, bring instant coffee or tea. Now, Again, this sounds like another very weird one, but honestly, how cute are you gonna look if you're not awake? <laughs> I know for some of you guys, it's like, unless you have your morning coffee, you really don't feel awake. If I don't have my tea, I'm honestly kind of groggy. My voice sounds more dry and, you know, just parched. And so I love these two options, especially because they're yours. You can bring them to the airport and they don't cost you any extra money. It's so expensive to go to Starbucks or Coffee Clatch or all these different coffee shops that you're running around through the airport to even find. Then you're going to end up paying, you know, five plus bucks for a latte or cappuccino or whatever. So I think that these both are great options, um, especially this. I actually did a review on this. This is mushroom coffee. So all you have to do is ask for like a cup of hot water, pour it in there, and you're good to go. Same thing with this. You know, I'm not a huge, huge fan of tea bags. I really like loose leaf tea. But every once in a while, you can find a decent, um, you know, tea. So you can just put these in, you know, some little Ziploc baggies, bring them with you to the airport, and then just ask for water. Four, 
Wear a light jacket with a lot of pockets. So I have a green cargo jacket that I love to wear to the airport. It's very, very lightweight. I could layer other small sweaters underneath it if I'm cold or I could just wear it by itself. Um, and it has like, you know, four or five different pockets on the jacket. The reason for this is because I do not want to have to get up multiple times to get my carry-on down and pull things out of it. And I don't want to be digging under the seat in front of me to get important products out that I need. So in one pocket, I'll have like my tinted chapstick or tinted lip balm. In another pocket, I might have like my vitamin spray. In this pocket, I had like my eye drops and uh, allergy nasal spray. And then in another pocket, I had my hand lotion. So those are all things that I felt like I really, really needed, you know, during my flight kind of on and off. So my chapstick, I would apply multiple times just to make sure my lips were staying hydrated. I kept my hand lotion in my pocket. My hands get very, very dry, especially when I fly. So I just really needed to be, you know, taking care of my hands, making sure that they were moisturized throughout my trip and just keeping my skin and overall body healthy and dewy. I don't want to be digging, even if it's in a purse, I don't want to be digging looking for anything. I want to have everything that I need uh, for three or four times throughout my trip on me at all times. Five, hydrate. This is probably the most kind of like duh one on the list since you're technically not allowed to bring water bottles or things filled with you know large amounts of liquid to the airport or they'll you know dump it or throw it out just bring a water bottle uh, and they actually had like water fill stations not like a water fountain where you're trying to like dip your water bottle in there but an actual water refill station where you just put your water bottle in it and it kind of has like a loop at the top you push the button and it refills your water bottle and i think it was free so um really use those to your advantage the second i get in the airport i immediately run and grab a water bottle right after check-in just because i want to make sure that i'm sipping constantly while i'm on the airplane and then on my layovers kind of transferring over from one plane to another. Hydration is very, very important, especially for your skin, for its elasticity, and for it just to kind of have like a nice glow and be refreshed throughout your flight. Six, bring your own healthy snacks. So I am one of those people, I love to pack, you know, granola bars, um, almonds, lots of little healthy snacks. Um, in my purse when I come to the airport, I don't want to be spending 15, 20, 30, 40 plus dollars having a meal and then a whole bunch of snacks on top of that. If I have a very, very long flight or really long layovers, I will pay for a meal at the airport, but inevitably I want to be eating my snacks kind of on the plane um, to kind of recharge my body. Just because a lot of the airport food is really fatty, a lot of it is fried, it's got a lot of sauce on it, you know, it's just really easy to kind of quick grab and go. And if you're not fueling your body with enough nutrients and stuff, your skin's not going to look great. You're going to feel sluggish. You're going to feel tired and you're going to look tired. Seven. Now, this is right after you get off your plane or maybe in between, but right before that special somebody comes to pick you up, use makeup wipes to kind of freshen yourself up. I don't like using makeup wipes personally on my face because my face gets irritated when I use it. I just don't like the rubbing motion of scrubbing makeup off my face. So you can use them to wipe, you know, your underarm area or your neck and chest just to kind of refresh yourself so you feel a little bit cleaner because I know for me after I sit on the plane for hours and hours, I kind of feel a little not sweaty. I don't know exactly what the word would be, but I just don't feel very fresh sitting in a tight enclosed area with a bunch of people for a long period of time. So I just feel like that'll kind of give your confidence that that boost in your body, just that fresh and, you know, relaxed sensation that it needs without you having to like try to take a shower. Then I always just along with that bring like little rollerball perfumes or I have um, a solid perfume that I use. I think it's by Pacifica. I talked about that, you know, sometime way, way back when in another one of my videos. So I'll see if I can find it. Um, and then I'll just apply that, maybe spritz on a little bit perfume after I've used the makeup wipes and I feel fresh and ready to go. So these are my seven beauty hacks for being at the airport. Make sure to hit that bell button in the bottom that, that you guys can be notified whenever I post new videos. I'm trying to post videos twice a week. That's like my goal. So I've been doing it. I've been, you know, kind of doing okay on it so far. Um, but just know I'm always regularly posting videos. So check my channel for those and like this video if you want to see more. I'll be posting more as usual and I'll see you guys later. Bye.